Hey, y'all. This week's quick tip is how to create a Gmail signature in Google Docs. I want to show you how easy it is to create a signature like this that has an image. Maybe it's your school logo. Maybe it's your picture and all of your information in a really nice professional looking signature, which can be a little bit difficult to just design right there in Gmail. Do it inside Docs and then you can copy and paste it right into Gmail. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to insert a table. So go to insert table and you want a one by two or I should say a two by one. And this is the beginning of your signature. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this middle line. If you hover, you'll get this little arrow where you can click and drag to move this around. So I want this one to be a small box and this one to be a bigger box. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to insert my image in this first box and it's going to automatically resize to fit it. So I'm going to go to insert image. I know I have mine right here inside drive. I'm going to insert my little avatar here and then I'm going to add all of my information for my signature. I had mine ready. I copied and pasted. Easy peasy. Quick tip. Be sure to include any links to public websites you have that have information for parents. And if you have a link to a Google Calendar or something like that with information, this can save you tons of time answering emails when parents are asking you, what did we do in class today? Add it to a Google Calendar and add it to your signature. All right, so here we have it. We've got our picture. We've got our information. Now, all we have to do is get rid of these lines. And this can be a little tedious, but just click on the line until it turns blue. Then go to the toolbar and click on border width and you're going to make it zero point. Now you could change the color and make it white or maybe you like the border. I don't like the border, um, but I'm just getting rid of it by making it zero point, which technically means it does not exist. And we'll get rid of this around our image. So this looks exactly the way that we want it to. Now, something I like to do is to make sure that things kind of line up and my image is about the same height as the rest of my information. So I just resize that a little bit to make it look a little bit better. Now, all I have to do is highlight all of this and then Control or Command C on the keyboard to copy it. Now we're going to jump into Gmail, click on the settings wheel near the top right, click on see all settings, scroll on down until you see signature, click on create new, add a name for your signature because you can have multiple signatures. So I'm going to name mine school. I'm going to click create and then you click in this box and control or command V on the keyboard to paste your signature. There it is. Now, hang on here. Scroll on down to signature defaults. So do you want this for new emails? I'm going to go ahead and select school on reply or forward. No signature if you don't want that repeated signature. And if you want it to be um, before quoted text in replies, and they'll add that extra little line. So you can check or uncheck that box, whatever you prefer. Then scroll down to the bottom. Don't forget to click save changes. Now, when I click compose on a new email, there is my brand new signature. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, y'all. Um, so you can create something professional and really in just a matter of minutes in Google Docs, copy and paste it into Gmail. If you like this tip, ring the bell and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. Bye, y'all.